Hey there, everyone. I'm JJ Ramberg, and we now have the top two tips you need to know to help your small business grow. This is a special segment we do just for Open Forum. Let's introduce our panel and get their advice. Alicia Surrett is the founder and CEO of Pantegrian Capital, an angel investment firm focused on seed and early stage investments. And Steve Strauss is the senior columnist at USA Today Small Business and the founder and CEO of the theselfemployed.com. Great to see you both. Great to see you. Great All right, Steve, let's start with you. One tip. So, JJ, every year over at my USA Today column around in January, I do a top 10 trends of the year coming up for small business. Now this year, what was my number one trend? Was it social media, the changing nature of social media? No, it wasn't that. Was it the sharing economy, Lyft and Uber and uh, Airbnb? Wasn't that. What was it? It was cyber security. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And this is something I think most small businesses really don't take seriously enough. You know, I mean, we all saw Target get hacked. We all saw what happened with the interview and Sony getting hacked. But the truth is, small businesses are attacked by cyber crooks more than anyone, anyone else, 60% of all cybercrime is directed at small business. And yet most small businesses don't take protections. They can steal your customer accounts. They can steal credit card numbers. They can steal your bank login information using key logging software. It's incredibly dangerous and it's incredibly easy to fix. You know, if you just put in some cybersecurity software onto your, all of your devices, including your mobile devices, uh, educate your employees as to proper protocols with regard to downloading information from the internet, that kind of thing, uh, and watch your credit. You know, hey. watch your credit report. That is going to really help you a lot. Hey, Steve, is there a place someone can go or, or, or uh, some kind of person someone can call to just do a quick audit on your company? There, you, you bet. There are a lot of security, small business security uh, companies out there. If you just do a Google cybersecurity in the name of your city, you'll find some consultants, and they'll, they'll help you figure it out. Great. Okay. Good piece of advice. Alicia. Yeah, so I think the big piece of advice I would give is not everyone needs outside capital. I think a lot of businesses look to VCs or angels and they have this vision that once they get this outside money that it's going to solve all their problems. And the truth is, is a lot of businesses don't need that outside capital, that they may generate enough cash on their own to really sustain their business. And I don't know if they necessarily realize, too, the implications of taking an outside capital and giving up a certain amount of control. Um, the other thing, too, is that with bootstrapping also comes creativity and I feel like sometimes people lose sight of the fact that by taking in outside money they might be able to lose some of that scrappiness that got them where they are so I always tell people when they come to me for funding is if you don't have to take outside funding you don't necessarily need it and it's not always the go-to solution for your problems you know one of the people who gave us a tip for a book we wrote a couple of years ago was whenever you make a big decision Take a step back and say, what would I do if I didn't have this money? Yeah. And see if you could come up with a more creative solution. Absolutely. Which I think it's such a good piece of so advice. Smart. All so right. smart. Well, thanks so much. Good to see you both. Thank you. Thank you.